Hi everyone, welcome to the first installment, the first episode, the first, whatever you want to call it, of Louis Answers Your Questions. I've been thinking about this for a while, and, and I think I'm finally going to do it. So I lately, I began uh, Breakfast with Louis. It's less high production. This one is going to be also less high production because the high production videos take over 20 hours to make. I cannot make those videos multiple times a week. When I say I, everybody knows that I'm speaking of Spielberger. He's the one that sits over here by the computer. He's actually over here. Can I, can I borrow the computer for a second? Hold on, hold on a sec. Hold on, folks. Here you go. So he's he's over here working on a computer. All right, keep keep working. Don't don't stop. I'll talk. I'll handle the talk. You you do the the editing. Okay. So yeah, he he does the editing, but I do have to supervise, and and it's a lot of work, folks. It's absolutely a lot of work, but I can do these other videos and and have more interaction with you folks, and I thought for a while that what about if I do. Louis answers your questions. So on from so I'll answer the questions from the previous high production video. So this these answers are from the previous video. Uh what it was it called? Uh California Seaside Camping. I don't even know my own titles. I have to go back and look. So I have uh, a few questions that I handpicked. Some of these questions I've already answered. And now I'll I'll expand expand ex, explain it better. That's probably wrong, but I'll talk about it a little bit more. So without further ado, the first question that I'm gonna try to answer to the best of my ability. Keep on working. Don't stop. Don't look at me. Sorry, folks. He's he's like looking at me like. You're not filming anything right now. You set the camera over there. You just do the work. He's trying to manage. You know, he doesn't have to manage. Just do your work there. Okay. So, Chris Diamond Travels uh, says, Fuse cheaper in Florida. Get out of that crazy state. <laughs> I'm in California. So, yeah, California could be a crazy state. I agree. But the fuel right now is high everywhere. And I knew that the fuel was going to be high in California. But I still wanted to come to California anyway. It, it's a beautiful state. Some of the politics might be a little bit crazy. But it's a beautiful state. I loved coming to California. Originally, I thought the people were a little bit off. They still are. They're, they probably still are off. <laughs> but I thought that in 2016. I don't know. I no longer think that. I've Ever since then, I've been to California multiple times. And I think some of the people, most of the people are wonderful. I love the state. It's a beautiful state. I love driving along the coastline, the mountains, the interior, the desert, everything. I love everything. So next question is from Barbara Horn. Little tip, buddy. <laughs> Even if you are not going to ride, start the bike every day. Run it for like five minutes. Keeps everything good and looped. I, I agree, but... I, I'm not in a conventional house. I don't have my motorcycle in a garage that I can just take the motorcycle out and if the weather's good, just go for a 10 minute ride. From what I understand, and I could be wrong, you you when you start the motorcycle cold, it's good that you run it for at least 10 minutes. You, you shouldn't just be starting the motorcycle and stop it, starting and stop it. That's not good either, from what I understand. So I could be wrong. But um, I, I think I think uh, if I lived in a house, or if if I if I'm camped somewhere, and and I can ride the motorcycle, yeah, then I'm gonna remove the straps holding the motorcycle down, and I'll ride it every few days. That's the point of having the motorcycle, so I can ride it. But sometimes when I'm travel and I can't ride it, the bike is strapped in. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my garage. It's very hard to go in. It's 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 not hard, but it takes a little bit of effort to go in there, move everything aside, and 
and strap the motorcycle and go for a ride. And then if I don't have good roads to ride, then it's it's not not easy. But next question. Grey Goose Adventures says, another great video. How are you getting the motorcycle shots from the rear? Is it a drone? I'm confused. David and Juanita. Um, I've already explained that, but it's, it's, I know, I know, I'm, hold on a sec. I'm going to give you credit. Hold on. So Spielberger wants the credit. As I've explained it, um, and I'll explain it again, and I'll probably explain it in the future. Spielberger is a very good athlete. It, it, he doesn't look like, no, you don't, I'm sorry, I, I'm telling the truth. He doesn't look like a good athlete, but he, he's actually pretty good. And what he does, he, he, he has he has a camera, and he runs beside me and, and behind me, and, you know, it, it, he runs real fast. So he's holding the camera running, you know, right, and, and that's how he gets the shots. So it's, it's, it, that's how I do it. That, that's how he does it. So, yeah, so now you know. Next question. Miss Mikael, I, this is a hard name to pronounce. Misael Mak Mak Adaim. I don't know. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. It's, that's how I do it anyway. He says, the roads in California look worse than the ones we have in New Zealand. Um, I've never been to New Zealand. I, I, I can't attest to if the roads in New Zealand are bad or good. But the roads in California, they're, overall, they're not bad. There, there are some bad roads, but I've driven pretty much across California back and forth a few times. And, and some, some areas, yes, yeah, some areas the roads could be bad. Same thing other parts of the country. But other parts of the country, the, the state, the roads are pretty good. I, I, I don't have a complaint. I mean, there's other states where you cross the state line into that state and, and the roads all of a sudden, they just fall apart. So, yeah. Um, next question. Patty says, gorgeous footage. California is beautiful, especially on the seaside. Yes, California is beautiful. It's got beautiful mountains. It's got beautiful desert. It's also got, has beautiful cities, but I don't want to be in the cities, but it, 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 the location, like the location of, of, uh, places like San Francisco, uh, even though the city is like falling apart, but the, the, the geographic location, it, it's just beautiful. You, you drive through there and it's just it's just hilly and then you go along the coast and it's just up and down curvy side to side all along the ocean it's absolutely beautiful i i love i love the coast of california i, I love the whole coast of, the whole california but i especially love traveling along the coast my only issue is that i wish with all the empty spaces that there's there's a lot of when I say empty spaces, I mean you have the big cities along the coast. They have San, San, Jose, San Diego, San Francisco, L.A., and you have other smaller but also kind of big um, towns and cities. But then you have you have miles and miles of just uh, road along along the ocean. You'll have the if you're driving north, for example, you'll have the the ocean on your left as you're driving and you could be driving right almost at sea level or you can be going up and be like three four five hundred feet above sea level you know overlooking straight down into the ocean and then to your right it'll be mountains you know jagged mountains and it's absolutely beautiful but with all that emptiness meaning land open with nobody living in there it's very hard to find campsites. It's very hard to have, and, and you a lot of times you drive through a national forest, but you can't camp because on your left, if you're driving north, you have the the Pacific Ocean, jagged rocks, rocks, no place to park, and to your right you have you have mountains, and there's no way to get in there. 
So I wish there was more access, more places where you could just camp along the ocean. And, and you can do that at Vista Points, rest stops. You can do that. And I do that all the time. But I wish there was more besides those Vista Points and rest stops, like a piece of land that you could just go in there and park by the ocean. But if that existed, then it would be full of people because whenever you drive along the ocean, even the stretches of miles and miles and miles with nobody around, there's there's still um, there's still a lot of people. There's, you, you find always rest stop, uh, Vista Point, always people parked there looking and taking stupid pictures and videos. It's unbelievable. Who who wants to go drive around and just take pictures and videos? Who does that? I, I know you do that, but uh, I, I, I personally, I don't do it. So I don't understand it. What can I tell you? Next question. Linda Woods says, send me your monies, Luis. <laughs> yes, send me your monies, please. Don't forget to use the coupon code Louis takes your monies. And, and then you can get 50% off all the monies you want. But, but send me all your monies first. <laughs> she also says, love the views. I am getting to see part of the country I have never seen and fresh oranges. That is cool. Great beach. Thank you, you both, for the video. I enjoyed it. Well, thank you, Linda. Um, yes, the oranges. The oranges. I picked the oranges by the side of the fence, by the side of the road. The, the oranges were hanging on a public space. So any, any fruit anywhere that's hanging over a fence into a public space is fair game. You can pick them. You can legally pick them. And, but we just grabbed a couple. But speaking of oranges, I got to ask Paige what happened to the oranges. I don't know if she squeezed them into orange juice and I drank those, that orange juice because I never ate the oranges. I picked them, I gave them to her. <laughs> and then I, and now I'm like, where are the oranges? I never ate them. <laughs> so she probably made orange, orange juice out of that. So I got to... I have to ask her, what what happened to the oranges, Paige? I never had one. Anyway, Katherine Robinson says, Louis, are those roadside, roadside oranges organic? Asking for a friend. This is my friend, Kat. You've seen her camp with me a few times. Um, she's being very sneaky. She wants to know the location so she can go there and pick all the oranges. So cat, it's not going to happen. I am not going to tell you where that spot is. That's a secret, lo secret location. I want to keep going back there and collect uh, my oranges every year. I want to. Uh, no, I don't want to go back there. But it's it's anywhere you drive, really. If you see oranges hanging, or any fruit, like I said, over a fence, into a public space. It's fair game, and and those were fair game. But but we were, we just picked a couple. I don't know. I picked two or three. Paige picked two or three. So, and like I said, I didn't even eat any oranges. Maybe I drank the juice, but I didn't eat the orange. So I don't. I technically I didn't eat them. So anyway, that's it for now, folks. That's all for the the um, questions I'm going to answer for now. So. Remember, next high production video, not on Breakfast with Louie. I'm not going to answer those on video anyway. I'm not going to answer these questions, any questions you have about this video. I'm not going to answer that either. But all the high production videos, I will answer. So I think the way I'm going to do it is I will have the high production videos sometime for the weekend. And then I'll have this answer with Louis probably on Monday, Tuesday. And then I'll have breakfast with Louis. I'll I'll do breakfast with Louis on maybe Thursday or Wednesday or whatever, something like that. Right now, this is a little bit, you know, out of place. This one is not going to be shown on Tuesday. It's probably going to be shown tomorrow, Friday, or today, Thursday. I'm not sure. So it is what it is, folks. Um... That's all I got. Do you have anything to add? No? He's, he's being a little shy right now. He's, he's still working. 
he's still working on his high production. So I'll keep working over there, buddy. And, uh, and folks, I will see you on the next Louis Answers Your Questions. Until then, we'll see what happens.